Hey guys, uh, thanks a lot for tuning into this special YouTube Mutual Fund Corner. Uh, we discuss a whole host of topics here and today it's going to be an interesting one as well. We are going to be discussing everything about hybrid funds. This is a category that has picked up off late and there's been a lot of interest as well. So we have an expert joining us, Mr. Kamayani uh, Anirudh Nagar, who's the CEO of Wealth Bajaj Capital, is joining us now to discuss that. Uh, Ms. Nagar, thank you so much for joining us here on CNBC TV 18 and we've been talking about how Indian equities are very close to a lifetime high. Does it make sense to invest in hybrid funds now or these, uh, these sector funds or this particular category has seen the light of the day? Uh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I think hybrid funds are very, very important specifically when the market is volatile. Because uh, you will have a situation where, uh, so basically hybrid funds are those which will have balancing between the equity and the debt. Okay, so when, as you know, both debt and equity have got an, mostly an inversely proportional relationship to each other. So it makes a lot of sense for an investor right now to invest in the hybrid funds because they give a best balance between the two. A hybrid generally means um, a multi-asset allocation. So it gives the investor the advantage of having multiple uh, assets under the same fund. Okay, yes, so it makes sense when it's uh, a lot of volatility and as you rightly pointed out, equity and debt does have an inverse relationship there. So is this a great way to diversify from the debt funds, especially because of the indexation benefit being taken away from the debt side? Actually, it depends on the kind of allocation to debt that the hybrid fund has. So you have various categories of hybrid funds, starting from the very aggressive to the very conservative. And uh, you will have different kind of fund managers doing different allocations. So I wouldn't exactly call it a diversification from the debt. I would just say it's a great opportunity where with 25, if the uh, equity allocation in the fund is only about 35%, you still manage to get the tax indexation benefit. So yes, um, instead of looking at a pure debt fund, if you look at a hybrid fund, which has a mix of about 35% equity and the rest of debt, it will still give you the arbitrary, uh, the uh, arbitrage or the tax opportunity and that would be a great option for you. Okay. Uh, so, you know, that was going to be my next question. What does the allocation usually look like in hybrid funds? You did indicate that. But have you seen a tweak in the allocation post the debt fund change? As of now, no. I mean, uh, I have been, uh, we have been speaking to a lot of the asset management companies and while some of them have just started coming out with funds which will give a combination or change the allocation between debt and equity. As of now, I believe there are only a couple which have been launched, but you should see a lot more happening in this space in the near future. Also, there used to be a great product earlier, which was known as a MIP or a monthly income uh, plan, which was a combination and was a great fund, um, which, was, which had very good uptake in the market. You should see something similar coming back um, in the near future, which is a combination of debt and equity. Uh, like I said, 35% equity is uh, what will help uh, with the allocation uh, and give you the best tax advantage. Okay. So uh, while we are talking about some of the benefits or when one should actually invest in a hybrid fund in a volatile environment, as you said, what could some of the possible risks be that an investor should keep in mind in, while they're investing in hybrid funds? Uh, there are two main things uh, that I would like to highlight here. One is that every fund is different. So it is important for the investor to study the breakup, the allocation of each fund and not just go by the nature of it being hybrid. There are various kinds of hybrid funds. Some of them are very, very aggressive, which will have a very high portion of equity uh, investment. So the risks uh, which are associated with equity will remain a part of this, uh, of the, the risk continues in an aggressive hybrid fund. So it is important to note where the investment is happening and what kind of allocation percentage is there. And it is important for the investor to make sure that they check the fund manager's allocation to debt and equity before they finally decide to invest. Okay, so the allocation is very important and of course the volatility that you see in the equity funds also remain if it's an aggressive hybrid fund towards equity. Uh, you know, the other part could be that they have gold in some form in their portfolio if it's a hybrid fund. Do you think it's still some, it's still a good time because we've seen gold prices touch record highs in 2023 already. Do you think the prices have peaked? Is there still a way uh, any investor should get exposure to this particular asset class? Uh, I believe the outlook for the next five years shows uh, gold still being able to jump to new highs. 
gold is always treated as a safe haven uh, when the markets are volatile and it doesn't look like the volatility going away too uh, soon considering everything that is happening in the international markets considering uh, interest the rate uh, scenarios in most countries uh, considering the way things are going in terms of uh, international banking uh, you know scenarios so i think volatility is here to stay for some time and during this volatility gold will still remain a safe haven um i think at least for the next 5 years while you may see some ups and downs gold should still remain a part of uh, a hybrid allocation continue to remain a part so do you think uh, an investor just carrying on to that point since you are bullish or you're talking about 5 year horizon being very good for gold an investor should they look at the gold category why i say sovereign gold uh, bonds or should they look at a gold etf or do it via hybrid funds what according to you or in your uh, long experience would you say is the best opportunity for an investor here it will totally depend on the risk profile of the investor very honestly if it is aggressive or risk profile then i think a gold etf uh, would make sense but if it's a conservative or a moderate kind of a risk profile then i think hybrid funds are a better way to go okay all right uh, miss nagar it was a pleasure speaking with you thank you so much for joining us here on cnbc tv 18 and hope to speak hope to be speaking to you very soon but thanks a lot for this lowdown on hybrid funds as well thank you so much for having me thanks okay all right with that we'll take your leave on this edition of mutual fund corner uh, which is the youtube edition stay tuned to cnbc tv 18 for more updates